going to show you two different graphical representations that can be used to visualize time trial data. All right, we're going to use a bar chart and we're going to use a line graph. So what I have here is a set of data that represents 20 subjects and three trials. This is artificially generated data, but if you were to do a study that involved time trials, uh, you might have each subject do multiple trials and then look at how the trials differed. So uh, what you want to do is have your data laid out just like I have it here. Make sure you're labeled on your vertical and your horizontal axis. If you do that on the sheet then every graph you make will have that listed as your axes. So we're going to highlight the entire block of data. Come over here we'll do the the column chart first and we want clustered columns. And just by clicking on it, notice that what pops up is the, uh, the data all nicely labeled and color coded. And I'm going to stretch it out here. And what this representation gives us is basically each individual subject and a visual comparison of each trial in the time trial set. All right, so this is one way to visualize time trial data. A second way to do it would be, again, let's highlight the entire data set again. Come over here and look at a line graph. And I'm just going to look at a basic line graph. And again, I'm going to stretch it out so that everything looks about the same scale. All right, this is a little more fluid in that you can see a, a nice line for each of the trials and how they compare. So this is two different ways to visualize time trial data using Excel.